walking along the path because I was looking to get to an intersection of some paths. I was wanted to go to a primitive campsite down that direction. I got here, I stopped, and I quickly turned this way. Well, as I was turning, my eye caught um, a white figure. Um, I don't know what it was, an object. It was kind of curved, and uh, I didn't come back. I wasn't scanning coming back because my eyes just caught it, and I locked in on it. I had no feeling, no premonition of something being there. The, um, the sun was a little brighter than it is right now. Uh, there's a little more leaf fall than there was uh, when I was here first, but I stood there and I locked in and I could see this thing. I had the impression that it was looking right at me. It had, it was whitish, yellowish, and vanilla color. And it looked like I was looking at something, something like about here, about, you know, above the head type of thing. And the eyes were, they were huge um, elliptical shapes, um, pretty big. And I just, I looked at it. I didn't have no feeling of fear. It was just, to me, it was different. And I looked at it for about eight to 10 seconds. I didn't move. And then I kind of nodded my head back and forth, looking to see if there was shadow play or if there was some type of wind going in there. And there was nothing. The thing was stone cold solid, just stuck there. Then I decided, well, I got to change my perspective. So I thought I'll take about 10 steps this way, took 10 steps this way, and I crossed this tree. And as soon as I crossed this tree, keeping my eye on target, it was gone. And then I started questioning myself, did I see what I thought I saw? And so I took a step back. Am I looking in the right spot? I backtracked to where I was. I looked back and it wasn't there anymore. And that was it. What color was it? It was a yellow, white, vanilla. It was more. It was closer to vanilla, not yellow in its color. But it was, yeah, it wasn't brown. There was no brown on it at all. Mm -hmm. You described the hair. What, what did the hair look like again? The hair, to me, it was smooth. The top of the head was round, um, which, which that was the first thing that struck me as a hunter. One of the things that makes um, a human stick out in the woods is the shape of the shoulders and the head. It's very unique. So you can kind of see that. And as I was looking at it, it was like, oh, okay, it looked, I don't see the shoulders, but I definitely see this kind of like, it almost looked like a pole um, as, I'm, as I'm reflecting on it um, because it's just rounded and on the top and it just stuck right there. But the black, the blackness of the eyes, it was pitch black. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Let's do a, a reenactment and take uh, measurements and put somebody there and have somebody stand there and you tell us how big it was compared okay. to that person. Sounds good. All right. So go ahead, um, Mark. Tell us, we've got David back there. You tell us what you see. David's head is about at the height of what I saw. Maybe a little bit higher, not much. And can you take your hands and like go next to your ears and go like this? And then put your foot behind your head. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you so much for this. I can't see your. I can't see your arms. I can't see them. I think he's holding himself up with his yeah, hands. Yeah. yeah, it's hard to hold yourself up though. <laughs> so compare to him. There. Yes. Now hands in closer, closer, closer. Stop. It was about that size, maybe just a little bit smaller, and just where the top of his head is, mm -hmm. round like that. And the black eyes were like right in this, right in that section, like that. How big were his the black eyes compared to his eyes? Um, bigger, bigger than the black spot he's got right there. It was Whoa, maybe one and a half times size that two times the size of that that's how big they were there that black and the head how much bigger was the head than his head um the head was where he had his hands before mm -hmm. what was it like maybe two inches wider on each side closer 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 a little closer yeah and then the top of the head was basically where his head was and the eyes, the eyes were big enough where, I mean, they, they, they looked like they were close to the top of the, the top of the tree, 
a fallen tree, but not quite. And again, there was no there was no bottom part of the face at all. Okay. Awesome. Thank you, David. The one thing I should add, Charlie, as I as I walked up here, I'm always checking my time because of arrival and, and the sunset and stuff like that. It was about 155, 150, as I remember when I checked the clock. All right. So as I'm here, I'm having that experience, and then I started heading back after waiting about a minute or two, and I just started walking back and I just kept looking in this direction. And when I get to the when I get to the end of the the log here, I, I look back to see if I could see it. And I'm not I'm not walking much faster than this. I know that it was still over there. I'm looking forward here. Don't see anything. I'm looking back here. And this is where I'm going. I have no idea where it moved to. Mm -hmm. Because it, to me, this looked awfully filled in. <coughs> and then I just started walking. And I kept a very casual pace for the entire way. David and I were on our e-bikes and we were coming down this trail. We were quite a bit further up the trail. I was in lead. Were you, were you by those turkeys down there? Look. Oh yes, right about where the turkeys are. You see the turkeys? Yeah. That's funny. Yeah. Okay, sorry, go ahead. So thank you for your assistance. <laughs> we were right about there. And I, I looked up and I saw something at the end of this road that was, well, I saw movement. Is what I noticed first. Like those people thought, down there? Yeah, There's people. I, I thought it was a friend of ours who we knew would be walking in the area. I just saw movement. I thought, oh, he's coming up this way. When we get down there, I need to be careful on my bike, you know. But as I stared at it, it was very large. It looked very broad at the top, and it came down narrower. And it was a very uh, vanilla color. It was a kind of a toasty white, but but very light. And I could tell the motion was coming this way. I could not see features on it. And I kept riding along, looking at it, trying to discern, trying to make it into people in my head. I looked down at the road to, to make sure I wasn't gonna run over anything. And I saw this mud puddle here. So that's why I know where I was at that time. It didn't have mud in it at the time. It's rained since. I looked back up and I could tell the creature was moving away. I kept my eyes on it. I was intrigued. I kept riding up. It went straight back. I knew the road curved to the left, but it just went straight back and it just dissipated. I kept my eyes on it beside blinking and it just went away. And then I stopped at the corner and I was looking into the woods. I stopped my bike at an ankle and I looked down the road and at the path this way, there was nothing, but I knew it went straight. And David had been on his e-bike behind me and he was like three seconds behind me. And he pulled beside me like he was gonna go on. I said, stop. I said, he did. And I said, did you see that white thing? And yes, you know, I didn't have a clear shot of it because I was behind her, but I definitely saw something white down there and confirm what, exactly what she described. And I tried to get around her to, to see down there to see what I was looking at because something was down there. I couldn't see any features, but it was big and white. And I thought, well, God, what is, who is down there? You know, what is that? But I could not see any features of whatever was down there. And about the time we got to this puddle or just a little bit further, whatever was down there was not there anymore. Mm -hmm. So I definitely saw something down there. I couldn't tell what it was, but confirming what she had seen and observed, something was down there. He hadn't seen it long enough, he felt like, to even bring it up. He couldn't process it, right. so he was going to ride on. But when he told me when I stopped him, and the key word when I said, did you see something white? And his face lit up when I said that. And it was a definite yes. Yeah. yeah. So. And you said the color of it yes. was almost vanilla? Vanilla. So it wasn't like a bright white. Yeah. Um, it, it was not yellowish. 
it was a vanilla, vanilla. kind of like a brownish amberish tinge to it and you met you mentioned my dog yes whiskey the top of whiskey's head hi whiskey the top of her head has vanilla colored and that's the color it looked like like right here yeah mm -hmm. not pure white but just a little bit of a vanilla color yeah. And when you stopped, did you stop by this puddle? I did not stop. I kept going. You kept going. I looked down and I saw the puddle and was thankful I hadn't hit it, or the puddle mark, it wasn't wet. And I was straight in the middle of the road because I bypassed this, thankfully, and I kept going up straight and, and I saw it and I, I couldn't understand how it could be so big and so broad. It didn't look like any person or anything and it just... It just went away is the best way I can say it. It did not turn. Did not turn, just kind of went back the opposite way. Right. And we have Mark down there now. Yes. There's, a, there's a couple people down there. You can see a few people walking around down there. Yes. See them? How big was it Was it compared to them? Right. So we placed Mark down there where it was because it was just centered on the trail. And what I saw was half again taller than what Mark is now. So what you see of Mark from just above his waist to the top of his head, yep. that much, if that's two and a half, three feet, whatever that was, whatever it is, it was stacked. If you stack that on top of him, mm -hmm. that's how tall it was. And it was, I would say, two and a half times broader than what he appears right there. And Mark's the guy on the right. Correct. And yeah. we have another friend on the left there, but yeah. again, that's massive compared it to was him. massive. And it did not move anything like, like you see the people down there moving right now. No, there was no back and forth um, shifting. It just went straight forward. Okay, well, let's go down there and look for tracks and hares and- That sounds good. So you're standing where you were a minute ago and what we could see because of the rise in the road, we could just see you from here up. We couldn't see anything here. What I saw was this much taller than you. It was that big and width wise. Oh, like. Yeah, well, no. a little taller than that, but width wise, oh it was at least a view two and a half times. You were like this tiny little thing compared to what I saw. And I can, I can see your whole body from here. I couldn't hear you. I could hear a little bit. Yeah. Very, very little. Almost like not at all. But I could, I could see yeah. all of your body from here. Yeah. And, and I heard nothing. I heard no noise at all. Wow. Plus, we can see some detail on you, your face, the shirt, oh. the some of the backpack. A little bit from back there. And one of the things I talked about, was, you know, could it have been a horse, a person on a horse? Mm. But you would see the person on the horse. Is a different color than the horse right plus what else you said yeah the, this that i saw was very broad on top and came down narrower but it didn't come down into to little legs this was all white or vanilla <laughs> it was all like that it just came down some narrower i remember seeing this little tree back here of course the wind's been blowing the last couple of days mm -hmm. and there was bigger leaves up here on these you can still see a few right there but you know when you're looking at it that's about the height right in through here is what we mm -hmm. were seeing. Mm -hmm. yeah. And we could see good detail. And the same time of day, we're roughly the same time of day, yeah, a sunny day. We can make out good, pretty good detail on you. So, and it never did turn sideways. It walked back here in the woods. Well, it walked straight back. Oh, straight back. Yeah, or whatever it did. It went straight back because I watched it. I kept my eyes on it. I could not figure out what it was. And then it just was gone. And I stopped right where you're standing. I went with my bike. And I was looking over there. And then a couple seconds later, David pulled up and I stopped him. And that's when I said, did you see something white? And so at that point, we were trying to reenact it. So I sent Kelly back up the road to, to see what I would look like standing here. And that's when I was standing here and she's trying to gauge. And I remembered saw. the puddle. So yeah. I went back mm -hmm. as far as the puddle, Mark. And so about that time I saw Mark approaching from the trail there. Right. And I asked him, hey, Mark, were you up here a minute ago? Just to kind of clarify, you know, and he goes, no, but can I tell you what I saw? Here, come here, Mark. So Mark approaches, right? 
So Mark, what you said what again when you approached them? Can I tell you what I saw? And I started describing it. Uh, white, and then it was kind of yellow. I mean, it was curved top, and then go. I started telling the color. And as soon as I said the color, about that time Kelly had come back come up when he she had started into his story. Yeah. And so when when we he had said white or vanilla color. He said white. White. And, and I said, said oh. like a vanilla. And he's like yes. And then she oh. went. Oh my god! Oh my god! <laughs> <laughs> So I mean, we discussed the story and stood around here and tried to figure out how what we had seen or, you know, uh, the different aspects of his story mm -hmm. and our story and how yeah. it correlated between the yeah. same color of, right. of creature that we were looking at. Now, the other thing was the time frame. Oh, yeah. What was the estimated time frame from when you saw it to when you saw it? We calculated approximately 15 minutes. 15, 20 minutes because he okay. did the time thing over there? 20? No, it's one mile. It's exactly one mile. It's one mile away. From one mile away, and I, I figured the way I was doing it, it'd be about 20 minutes, my mm -hmm. pace. Mm -hmm. so, but yeah. but yeah. that that's me walking 20 minutes. Right. You had the encounter before I even saw you. Yeah. So yeah. you have to take away the yeah. 20 minutes, so it's more like probably 10, 15 minutes. But the time what we saw was... Well, we were here, you know, investigating. I walked around a little bit. I'd already gone up in the road and back, you know, at that point. And I said, oh, what's, you know, what's our time stamp? And I looked at my phone and it was 2.20 exactly. So, you know, back that up for us walking around and talking 10 minutes, if yeah. that. It was approximately 2.10 p.m. Okay. So it, it booked it. It got here pretty quick. I know that I was out there because I do the time checks about 150, 155. Mm -hmm. And the thing we don't know if it's the same individual or another one. Right. We do know from the research in the area, there's been two of the same height. Uh, not really. There's a white one out here. There has been a white one. Uh, there's two juvies out here that are about six foot tall. And that was about four or five years ago that the juvies were seen six foot tall, but they were darker in color. So there's some dark ones out here and there's, I know there's at least one or two white ones or vanilla ones now as well. All right, well, thank you guys so much. Okay, so we're gonna, we're gonna come here where we think it went in the woods. And there's yeah. actually a trail here. Yep. There's a trail right here, look at this. That's interesting. There's something here. What does it look like? Mm. Come on, get hey, move. Come here, girl. Move. Come here. Come here. <laughs> Come here. Come here. Come here. I got you. I'll get you. I'll get you. Great dog. I see it, though. Yeah. You see? Something there. That's something heavy. You can see a, an impression of something. But yeah. It's hard to tell exactly. I can't tell if it's like this or like this. Yeah. Here. That'd be the heel, probably. Something there. Who whistled? Did you guys whistle? Somebody whistle. I'm sorry, that was me. Okay. Oh, that's okay. We just want to check. <laughs> so there's an actual, there's a trail here. I didn't know that. It goes up to the, the little thing. Okay. So it looks like the game trail goes left. Yeah, right there. Yep. And one right there. Mm -hmm. Hey, you think deer or something bed down right there in the cubby? Over there? There's oh, yeah. Hole right there. They deer could get in there. Yeah, for sure. That trail leads right into it. Does fresh bark off a tree mean anything? It could be. It'd be really hard to tell. What could have done it? Yeah, you see that game trail there? Yeah. Through there. So just keep looking. Anything? Any bro broken branches or? I got it. What another game trail right here? Mm -hmm. Yeah, you can tell. This is a thorough way right here. Yeah, stuff's been through here. Just yeah. 
see if I see if we can find any hairs. Yeah, look for hair on the thorns. Tracks. Especially. Yeah, I'm looking real closely. You know, we see a white, you know, a white blotch. <laughs> and I'm like, <"Ooh." laughs> mm. I've seen birds too, so especially look at them. Yeah. There's some kind of Yeah. There's a little coming up. That looks suspicious. Mm. Look like maybe something slipped in the mud when it was muddy. I don't know. I don't know what that... Like a heel slip? Yeah, I can't tell what the... But it's old, whatever it is. Looking for tracks. This is where they think, this, where they had the siding, it came through here. Yeah, we're kind of... It's a white dodge. Oh, great. We're nature enjoyers. Yeah. Hey, they had a fluorescent vest on. Oh, what kind? Like, I don't know, but it was a uh, fluorescent. Hunters? I don't know. It was green. It was really green. Oh. <laughs> Worker or something. Yeah, maybe. Just. I don't know. You guys, what? Come here, Whiskey. Come. Hey, whiskey. Come. Come. Stay. What do you see? Come here, girl. There's just no vegetation here. Okay. And then there's something stuck up there. There's an impression here. There's... Tell you, tracks are hard to get. If you look at look at this stuff, it's so thick. Mm -hmm. yeah. Um, trying to get something in this is hard. And then it rained pretty good between the siding and now. You think you'd need a big pathway, like something, if it would run through here going this way, like this is a pretty big path. You see any broken branches? No, I've been looking to see if like any hair got caught on anything. The big burrow spider here wants it. It's huge. I tell you what is what is amazing is this gives you respect of a buck. We found the carcass. Mm -hmm. But better now we took turns putting this skull on our head with our horns. Yeah. To try to run through the woods. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, you think their antlers would get caught on a lot of this stuff? How do they do it? Yeah. <laughs> I'm telling you, it's just pure instinct. I mean, I'm gonna fucking run through this. Like and not get hung up. Mm -hmm. Okay, we are walking up to the tree right now and what'd you say There's a nice right here. okay let's take a let's get up closer and take a peek here yeah that, that could be from this mound but i mean it's like a, the, it could yeah, also conceal oh i see what conceal. you mean it, it could have be crouched right there been, could have been here it could have been along there because at the line my line of sight i didn't see i couldn't see that other lot okay so from what you're saying it could have been here maybe or back behind the next or one back behind the next one over there or over here or over there i would think more well there is a big impression like he said here look like a probably a natural impression but it could have been yeah so look around here i mean um <laughs> with a dog well, that, that signs it because you know um, always walks right through this thing. look for hairs on, on any of this wood. I know that, Charlie, it didn't have any cross thing in its face. So nothing was in front of it? Nothing, there was nothing crossing in front of it. Now, do you think, when you look back there, 
was it above that tree, the, the higher tree there? Was it above that tree? See it? The, the taller tree? The down tree? No. The, the it down was, tree down here? No, the up higher no, one. It was not up there. So it was crouched down. It was on ground. Yeah. It was on ground, crouched. And I'm, I'm thinking, because it had, there was, there was nothing blocking its face and mine. So none of, none of these okay. blocking its face. So looking back, if, 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 so if it, nothing was crossing its face, it, it didn't have any of these. Okay, so look, look, look right here though. Here's a big spot. Could you go back and, and give us a line of sight? Yeah, sure. Yeah, go back and we'll put somebody. Good idea. We'll have somebody kind of where it's at. But keep looking for tracks, hairs. Because here's a big area here with no branches in front of it. I'm thinking, because he said, let's see what he says. He's back there now. He pointed me this way, so. I don't see the light. There you go. Okay. Okay, he's got a laser beam. He's taking his laser, hitting, he's hitting where it's at. So right in that area there where that laser's, laser's hitting. So there is a wear pattern. Okay, but everybody be cautious. Be Keep hitting that laser there. You got the laser there still? It, okay. I, I, Okay. But from your vantage point, this look, look, hey, 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 look at the dog. The dog is on something right here. And those leaves just rustled up. The dog is on something right here in this area. Okay. Look at her sniffing. You guys see the dog? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. She doesn't have to take a shit. <laughs> I don't think so. Yeah, good. She was alerting. Look, yeah. she's on something right there. What is it, Whiskey? What is it? What is it? She was really sniffing right there. Mm -hmm. She was, the dog was like going. Nuts right here? Yeah, like really sniffing right hard. Rustled up too. I don't think anybody's crossed through here. No. What is it, Whiskey? What is it? I love dogs. Me too. Huh? So let's look over here. So it was more in this area here. You search over there. We're gonna we're gonna look here. I'm sorry to interrupt you earlier, but oh, you're fine. The dog was. Yeah, I was gonna say from your vantage point, Mark, that first tree from there it looked like it was one big tree. So it yep. could have been there, or even though this is underneath, it could have been back here because you could it, not see. It, your your laser landed right here, and I didn't th see this. See these trees right here? Yes. They weren't in front of its face. Okay. So it was just, that puts it I, it, its face was totally unblocked. See, maybe it was crouched right here. It had to be crouched somewhere in here. here somewhere. Or if I'm misremembering, it'd be someplace where I would, like, the thing that is really giving me confidence here is that you've got all these cross pieces coming up. Mm -hmm. They would have blocked its face. Right. So it had to be kind it of in this it opening. It had to be in this open spot. I don't even remember this being. Um, in his in his in his eyes, it had mm. to be somewhere around here. All right. Did you see the lower half? No, no, just just, just that upper. head. So okay. it was definitely crouched down. All right. Um, so look right in here for stuff. Anything broken? You know, now since this has happened, we've, we've had, had rain. rain. So. Rain. This is Thursday. We've had a lot of rain, which could have, you know, dampened the leaves and a little bit. <laughs> Come here. Come here. Come. That looks like a pretty deep impression.
that looks pushed down. I'm just trying to take the surface off. Yeah. There looks like little right here. Mm-hmm. But you, th you figure if it's laying down, right, mm -hmm. this entire body is mashing down this whole area, so to speak, it'd be really hard to get a track because the entire right. area is mashed. So looking for finger, like either fist prints or finger. Right, crawl. with all this leaf litter too. It's And then it rained since then. So now it's all kind of sunken in. The rain has kind of... So Mark, right when there? You, after, Where? after it cleared your vision, and you started to walk back down the trail. Did you come back up here? No, I looked. Did you go, like, you looked from back here? Yep, I looked from the trail back here. So it's very possible it could have just stayed because it, if you're um, down there, this yeah, whole thing was blocked as well. That could have happened. And as soon as you were out of sight, it could have got up and hightailed. It could have gone. So, yeah, you guys out there, we think it went that way based on the second witnesses. Yeah, so wish. what they're doing is great. You guys are all looking that way. That's where you might find tracks. I think I found a possible I Okay, move the leaves carefully. Look for... All right, let's... Oh, you guys keep looking here. I'm going to go down there and take a peek what they're doing. All right. So we are looking at the possible path it took from there. And we think it went this way. Here. I filmed this before I, I okay. moved Come leaves, on. but right here it looked like there was an impression. So I started moving the leaves back, and if you look up here, it's like indented there. Like um, I'm saying, the toes would be this way, and that's like the ball of the foot, so mm -hmm. to speak. It's a little higher here. Um, so I move this over here because that looks compressed. It does, yeah. But then I, I thought, okay, let me dig down. What does it really look like? Is everything compressed? But you just keep digging bits and bit loose bits as you go down. Well, here you've got a layer of compressed leaves. Yes. And see, it looks to me lower there. And, um, I mean, you could move the leaves out in the shape of a foot, you know, but I right. just tried to keep moving them. But it looks compressed there and higher here. Now, this has some give to it. I don't know why that's not down if it would have just come back up it's like spongy wood from this stick i think i'm not sure something could have jumped or stepped off of this tree and landed right in that area yeah it mm -hmm. appears to me to be this way yeah. but i don't know it's very hard with this yes. uh, this cover yes. and then it rained since then i know so now everything's kind of flattened because the rain on top of it i know we didn't have time. This appears to be an old roadbed also. There's a metal marker up there about a hundred feet. Oh, really? Right here? Mm -hmm. Oh, look at that. You're right. You know, when I came in there, I noticed there's an old entrance there. Well, there's a marker. and I couldn't. It's got a little badge on the top of it. I couldn't read it, but Michael said M-A something 19. Hey, Michael, what was that date on that pipe? Oh. Uh, 19, what's he saying? 19, 19, Nothing. 83, I was going to say. Oh, like an old, yeah, it looks like an old baby. Uh, yeah, it's like it's great. got orange paint on it. Most of the orange paint is rubbed off. Yeah. It's really hard to find tracks, isn't it? Yeah. yeah. It's not as easy. Oh, yeah, show me that one. And then we'll we'll get David in the spot. So let's look at this one, and then we'll put David where it was at to get a size comparison. I didn't want to touch it. I've never done tracking and leaves, okay. but it just looked weird to me because it's coming right from there. See what I'm saying right there? Yeah, you can see a little bit. Are the sticks broken? I can't tell. The one right there is sticking up. Okay. Yeah, it does look, these look 
mashed some. This I'll isn't broken. Maybe, uh, most of the weight's on the heel, so. Yeah. I don't know, it just looks fishy to me. It's really hard to tell if I move, sucks. move some of these back here. I mean, you can see a layer here, but it could, I don't know if it's old, of these yeah. leaves are flat. And they're darker in color, the leaves are darker. Okay. It is so hard to get tracks, I tell you. Mm -hmm. But I thought I'd point it out. It yeah, yeah, for sure. It could be. I um, mean, the only reason I looked at it because it's coming straight from where it's all right. right. Okay, so David, I'm going to have David get where you guys are. I just think it's hard to get tracks and this stuff. It's just so thick. You know, even walking across there, you see a lot of indentations. Well, you just walked. I can't even see where you walked. Yeah. Oh, what was that? Oh, oh shit. Oh, the dog moved it. Here, are you okay? She's still looking for the track. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> she fell and she's still looking for hair. <laughs> so she, that's dedication. That's dedication. She just fell and then she's not losing focus on the hair. She just. When you, when you fell, you kicked that one. Okay, so hold on. There's one on the stick. It's on. You may have found the two. end on the stick. Okay, don't touch it with your hands. Yeah, no, no. no. He had to move it. The, oh. the feather, I didn't touch it. Oh, no, no, but the hairs. Yeah, you don't want to touch it with your hands. So let's see so if you could find it. You think you saw it? Yeah, plastic bag. Um, I think somebody does. We'll get something. Oh, shit. So sometime after 2.30, Thursday afternoon, um, I was helping set up a tent. I was standing in this position here. The tent was not up yet. And uh, there was somebody here and two other people. We were talking and uh, out in this direction, I hear what sounds like a large limb, like falling off a tree, like breaking. It didn't sound like a whole tree being pushed over or anything like that. It just sounded like a big limb. So I said something about that and everybody were just talking and visiting. They were, and they just sort of, nobody really said anything else. So we just kept working. And then out of my peripheral here to my right, I see movement straight through there and it's a back and forth. So then I turn my head and actually look that way. There were more leaves on that day than what are now. So I could not really see my eye this way, could not see anything. So I looked up and like I said, I was looking up that direction and I'm not sure exactly which tree, but I've got it narrowed down to one of the two. Mm -hmm. And it was a back and forth a swing, maybe 10 to 15 seconds in my mind's eye is what I remember. And that's what got my attention because there was no wind at that point and it was uh, no other trees were moving. Right. And it wasn't just like a blowing in the breeze movement. It was back and forth. Right. Do you want to go look yes. and see the tree real quick? Right. Okay, let's go look. Yes. I feel like it was that from back there because that one behind it, but it's further back. I thought they were closer together. See, it's wider at the bottom, but it looks narrow as you look up. Yep, that I one. I think it was this one, but it could have been that one, which is bigger. The one behind it. Yeah, and when I say behind, I'm talking about that bigger one. I, I feel like it, but see, when I looked up, I could obviously tell this was smaller, but I couldn't see the trunks, of course. Right. So I'm not really clear. It was one of these. I'm feeling like it was more this one. This one here. Yeah. And I don't. Which I mean, is pretty. Both of these are big trees. Right. The other thing is, yeah. I'm going to add this because you mentioned a branch falling. Well, I There's, heard. You heard a branch fall. There's a, couple, there's a couple old branches there that are little. Yeah. Those branches are not big. You know, because my first thing, one thought was a big branch fell and the yeah. tree was, you know, right. shaking. Yeah, 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 yeah. Right. 
but there's no big branch here. Plus, this is a very stout tree. And I don't see where from right here on that tree a branch just isn't. <laughs> no, I'm looking. It's That's a very strong tree. Mm -hmm. And then and we got just, some. Like I said, it was shocking to me at the intensity of the movement for there not being any way, no other trees were moving. Yeah, I'm just looking to see if I see any impressions. I didn't yeah. walk over there because I didn't. That's okay. Know. It has rained a lot right. since Thursday. So, it's really hard to tell with all these leaves and such. But those are little branches right over there I'm looking at. They sure wouldn't make that noise that we heard. Right. Wow. It yeah, this is a, like a decent sized This is a good sized tree to shake. It's more like this size of branch. It, I, I'm not saying that big because that's old. Right. But this bigger one to your far right, it made a sound something bigger like that would make. Now, I wouldn't have heard a little branch. Right, like this one here, you're saying. I'm but, saying that more, it would be a more size, Right, like much that. bigger, but this one's been down a long time, this right? This is old, so I know it's not this. So big. maybe it was, the maybe the branch that you heard break was further back. Right. Somewhere. Right. But, but what caught my attention as far as to look was that movement. Right, the shaking of the yes. tree. Yes. And the way I was standing, I saw it very well through my peripheral. Everybody else was talking and... And I did make mention, and by the time they took the time to look, it was not moving. Right. I'm the only one that saw that movement. But, and again, 10, 10 to 20 seconds yeah, was a yeah, long time. Yeah. It was back and forth. For back this tree minutes, here, which yeah. is very, very strong and, and the movement, and thick. I could see more up in there. I, obviously, I couldn't see down below because there was way more, quite a few more leaves on the trees down here. Yeah. I could not see. That's why I said I did not see any. Thing. I just nope. saw that up there. Right, <laughs> just the top of it moving. Yeah. yeah. Okay. And I was like, that's really weird. It is. But he didn't think anything until I heard their stories. Oh. Does somebody have a camera over there? Um, unless it's Jim or his friend Jason, I think they may have. Oh, is it? I see it right there. Yeah, he's got it. I see the camera. Just put, oh, yeah. That, I think, is Jason's. Jason's camera. I think he said he had tripod. Okay, good. See if something comes back up. We do think they approached the campground from this ravine down here. Yep. See it? That makes sense from where Kelly saw it. Yes. Yeah, so this is the direction it came uh -huh. from their sighting. Uh -huh. And your tree shake was after their sighting. Hi, I'm Charlie Raymond with the KBRO. I just wanted to add my thoughts about these sightings. Number one, I've known these individuals for many years. They're honest, credible people. Secondly, we've had over two dozen sightings in this area. We've had seven sightings on my expeditions, daytime and nighttime sightings. Add to that, we've had numerous tree knock interactions, whoops, whistles, howls, trees pushed over, you name it. So it doesn't surprise me they've had a daytime sighting. Regarding tracks, we did look. The ground was very hard, covered in leaves. Yeah, we, we brought our dog with us. You know, in hindsight, we probably should have kept the dog on a leash. But I knew kind of going into it, we wouldn't really find tracks because of the, the ground conditions. Uh, possible hairs, they didn't turn out to be significant. But we did look. So I hope you enjoyed the video. Um, it was fun making it. It was fun doing the reenactment. And stay tuned for the next one.